Uh, we got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea, you dig? Um, Blueface kicks pregnant Krishan out of their house to move his baby mama in. Let's get it. So Blueface is upset that he's on house arrest and Krishan is out doing performances and bookings while he's at home doing interviews with his baby mama. Now there was a lot of disrespect thrown at Krishan during these interviews. Now today Krishan posted a text message thread between herself and Blueface on Instagram. Now all of these messages are actually from Blueface. As you can see here, he stated, I'm tired of showing what I can get done. So I, I'ma just um uh, I'ma just read them. I ain't reading all of them, but yeah. <clears throat> I'm tired of showing what I can get done, what you gonna do for me. If you don't know what to choose what to choose, I'ma always tell you choose the money. I love you. Have a good night. I'm begging. I'm like I said, I'm begging. I'm literally telling you, come on. You telling me about something else. I'm not going to wait and I'm not going to press you to come. It's up to you, Rock. Now, I don't know if he was trying to get her to come stay there before he was trying to get um uh Jaden to stay there. Because that's what this sound like. But just always remember at the moment when you're at your lowest and most vulnerable and I'm not there for you or don't cancel my plans for you. Just just always remember this day. Basically, he letting her know when you down and out, bitch, I ain't going to be there for you. That's that's all he's saying. And um, he, every time she asks or whatever, he going to remind her to. Um, and he's saying, I ain't trying to manipulate you, which he is. He always does. Uh, but she just done caught on. She done got a whiff of the BS, man. So, you know, that's it. And get over it. And he says, I'm only on house arrest. Nigga said he put rock out for Jaden. When truth be told, Krishan didn't want to come. <laughs> Krishan didn't want to come. <laughs> get out the spot. Next sitch in let's get to let's get to it it's a very simple life i'm living don't make it complicated chose up or lose up <clears throat> i swear i've been like this um i'm only on house arrest because i took all the charges for rock and let's just make it very clear all the shit all all the shit that Prashan has taken for him and done for him and all that Nigga, like she said, blah, blah. Don't nobody want to hear that boo-hoo shit? Because I took all the charges for rock. Nobody wants to hear the boo-hoo. All in the work. He's really vulnerable right now. This is probably the most vulnerable we ever seen him. No. At house arrest. Who the hell want to be on house arrest? Like, real shit. I'll take the deal and pled guilty because her name is all in the work. So then he posted pictures of the paperwork where it does have Krishan in there assaulting another young lady blueface is stating he took all of the charges so Krishan wouldn't have to deal with any of this as you should she's pregnant like I said all the shit that she's taking for him all the L she's taking don't get me wrong he got in a great situation but in the process to her being in a great situation she had to damn near sell her soul to you. Had to damn near sell her soul to him. So, and y'all selling your soul means you're doing something that has no morale to it or something that you don't want to do. That, you know what I'm saying? Like, she didn't want to be on the internet looking crazy like that. Half the time, she didn't want to drink. Half the time, a lot of shit that was happening, she didn't want to do, but she was doing it. To get that money. So when you do things for a service that you really don't want to do, that is what selling your soul is, y'all. I just want to make that. Um, so this whole situation is crazy because Blueface is stating this is all Krishan's fault that he's on house arrest. And in the paperwork, it does say that um, Krishan did all of that. Hit, hit the girl and all that other shit that it said. That is true.
And instead of her staying with him, she chose to go out and take these bookings. So he called his baby mama out to stay with him. Now she's back in the number one spot and he's moving her in and kicking Krishan out. Mm -hmm. Now today is June 29th. He gave her until the third to remove all of her belongings from his home. Now you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. Now I do want to speak on this next situation with Krishan Rock's sister because she went live onto Instagram and she was actually in tears speaking about the situation with Krishan and how she spoke to Krishan about not taking any crap from Blueface and that's when Krishan actually swung on her and that's how the whole incident started with people stating that she was fighting Krishan while she was pregnant. Uh, I'm not coming out talking about it now. This is to the public and to my sister. But, like, when she said that I'd be talking to her like she a child, she not a dog. I understand her, but this is me, the person that she's saying she feel saying that. What? Like, I apologize for if you feel like I'm talking to you like you're a child, but I would, I'm not talking to you like you're a child. I'm just talking to you like an overprotective big sister, and maybe I need to work on that and go yeah. to counseling or something for being overprotective. But I don't look at it like that. I look at you like a boss. You no, you don't. So. She kept. And y'all want to know why she getting vulnerable like that now? Because Krishan done finally came to her senses. Krishan is to her senses, y'all. I don't know. I just wish people and and I feel like the people has a way of making my sister feel like that. It's like it like makes me really upset because I don't know, me and her never beef. And I love all my siblings, but I remember like getting picked on as a kid. Not from all my siblings, but like certain siblings. Like, oh, you you not a full sibling, you the white one, you the white girl. So when Krishan was born, what? I completely okay. <laughs> I'm picking it up. But when Krishan was born, it was like a relief for me because. When we started, like it was twelve of us. So I, I'm confused too. I, I, I'm trying to listen. Hey, <laughs> like, like, you be like, you're not a full sibling. You have free. You have free. You have free. If you don't know what that means, you ain't understand. But like, I used to get called that. So when Krishan was born, that was my. When Krishan was born, eight. Number eight out of twelve. So when she was born, it was like that was my fight back. How they have someone. It looks exactly like me if I'm not y'all for a seven. So all this shit that's going on on social media, like it really, like I'm so strong because, like, yes, I'm a mother, but I'm also like before I was a mother, I was also like, like the biggest sister, and I'm number eight out of twelve. And these big sisters that can vouch for it if they want to be real and genuine. I've always played like a super big sister role. Whoever on that live with her is truly quiet. It's, my thing is, when she was born, it was like the equalized situation of all 12 of us. So it's like, all right, y'all can't keep calling me a half sister. Because if I'm half sister, then how dad and mommy do it twice? How we look just alike? So all this stuff that's going on Instagram, I, I really don't like it because that was my like, fight back when she was born because we're like six years apart in age so just imagine what I was going through 
before somebody that looks just like me comes. <sighs> she sees that Krishana sticking with her little brother because he doesn't get into her business like his sister tries to. Facts. Her little brother really, like, I like him. He stays in a little brother role. He minds he is, and he keeps it moving. Like, <clears throat> he, you know, he'll say his opinion or whatever, but that's it. That's it. He, he, you know, a little brother is definitely different from a big sister, but a big sister got to learn to respect the little sister. And if you don't respect me, well, <laughs> know what that means. It's well. If she's telling you she don't want to be spoken so to I like really a child, hate stop. How, like this narrative is of us fighting because we always was going to have to stick together because we look just alike. And it's just like blowing so ugly. I just hate the whole And then she just got a lot. That's crazy. Um. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't got much to say. Uh, she, her sister was kind of acting wild. And I mean, the way they treated Krishan when she brought Zeus there, I mean, we ain't on none of y'all sides. <laughs> y'all let me know what you're thinking. Love y'all, appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.